to read a few verses from uh, Mark chapter 2, Mark chapter 2, and again, he entered into Capernaum, that's the Lord Jesus Christ, after some days, and it was noise that he was in the house, and straightway many were gathered together, insomuch that there was no room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door, and he preached the word unto them. And they came, uh, come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four, so four people were carrying him. Uh, and they, and when they could not come nigh or near unto him for the press, for the you know crowd of people, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy. Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why doth this man speak, uh, thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And they're correct. Only God can forgive sins. But they fail to understand that the Lord Jesus Christ is God. A lot of people don't understand that. See, one of his titles is Emmanuel, which being interpreted is... God with us. You see, God came down in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ to die upon the cross of Calvary for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And it goes on in verse 8 of Mark chapter 2. And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and take up thy bed and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. He saith to the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise and take up thy bed and go thy way into thine house. And immediately he rose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. And they were amazed at what was taking place, but they didn't understand who this was in their midst. It's the Son of the living God. See, the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. The question, the question is, is he your Saviour? Have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ for your eternal salvation? You see, the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. We can look at that in a few ways. We know that when he was on earth, he had power to forgive sins. But the thing is, what we've got to understand also, he still has power to forgive us of all of our sin through faith in him. You see, without faith, it is impossible to please God. We must believe that he is, that God is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Are there few that be saved? The question was asked a long time ago. And the answer is yes, in short, yes. Because many people think they can earn God's favour by doing good works and being a good person. Now there's nothing wrong with that. That's commendable. But that can never get us to heaven. We can never get to heaven on our own good works. There is none righteous, no, not one. We've got to understand the only righteous man that will this the face of the earth is the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's the one that can be your saviour today. In fact, this afternoon, if you were to come in repentance toward God, which is a change of mind, simply agree with God, yes, I realise that I am a sinner. But thy son has died for me upon the cross. Then what you need to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. No need to go down to hell. You can be in heaven when you die through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Just change your mind. Agree with God that you're a sinner. And then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Remember he shed his precious blood for us on the cross. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness 
old sins. No, redemption means that we're buying something back by paying a price. The price has been paid, the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the perfect Son of the living God who died on the cross. He can be your Saviour this afternoon. I wonder, what will you do then with Jesus, which is called the Christ?